So we have a very special unit on its way to us. And the reason I wanted to do a video like this on it even before it arrives is because it's just about to be announced uh, by Hendy Amps as their new Michelangelo XL EQ. Now, we, we basically, what happened was we came up with a concept uh, of, of this saturation box that had an EQ in parallel to kind of compensate for the saturation you were doing. So what you could do was you could saturate and drive um, the saturation, really kind of get this beefy saturated sound and then compensate for it with the, uh, the tube EQ, basically. And what this basically means is you can saturate the sound and it, it will, it will, you know, gain obviously increases, but then you can use the tube EQ to then bring down that gain so you bring it back flat. So instead of having this kind of saturated sound that, that gets bigger, louder, you get, it gets bigger, but it doesn't get louder because what you're doing is what goes up then gets EQ'd back down with a very nice clean tube EQ. Um, that's the concept behind it. So what it basically is, is uh, it's a Michelangelo EQ uh, with a MOSFET Michelangelo EQ in parallel and the two work together. So the concept is you turn the saturation up, you turn the, sat uh, the, the tube EQ down in the same band. So, so it's kind of like, like this. If you think of it like, um, if, you, if you look at the like low range, for instance, the low band, it, the saturation, you're going lifting the saturation up is going up like that then you're using the tube eq to bring down which then levels it back out so now you've got it a flat range again and it's really good it honestly is it's it's one of the best eqs i've ever used well i haven't even used it yet it's one of the best eqs i've ever heard we had a demo with chris at hendy amps the other day where he played lots of different sources through it and showed us all what you can do. Um, but yeah, we basically came up with an idea of what we wanted and went to Handy Amps. Um, Jason at SX Pro put us in touch, went to Handy Amps, sorted out this, this incredible unit uh, that's so unique and it's truly different to anything else in the market. And the reason the, the 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 conversation started, and the reason this all started was because I was having a conversation with Jason at SX Pro, and we he basically said to me like, "What what 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 do you need? What what can I get you?" Kind of thing. Um, and I'm like, you know, how many EQs do I need? I, I I physically just can't get go get another EQ. I want you know I want racks and racks and racks of gear but at some point you get to the point where you've just got multiples of different things like EQ 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 there's like eight EQs in here don't need any more EQs um and it's like I said to him something needs to come out someone needs to build something that you know is is totally unique there's stuff that I want that isn't available and it hasn't been invented yet but you know, I want it. He was like, well, why don't you build, like custom build it? I was like, I wouldn't know where to start. I, w I wouldn't know how to build something like that. Like, and he was like, leave it with me. And he went off. Um, next thing I know, I'm in a conversation with Chris and Jason and we're, we're brainstorming. I'm basically saying, this is what I want. This is, this is how I want it to work. This is the concept behind it. I want to do, I want to do saturation, but then I want to be able to compensate for the saturation. So I'm just getting this big, wide, beautiful kind of saturated sound and he was like yeah and you know when someone's eyes kind of you see it light up and you could see Chrissy's eyes just be like yeah this is and you can tell by just the tone of someone he's, he's, he's just like this is exciting and when the person design like the person that's that's creating the product is equally as excited as you you know Chris is a master engineer himself and the fact that he's built one of these for himself to put into his studio says a lot um so it's not just a just it's not just a build of like oh yeah let's just have a custom build this is now hopefully and it should be the new michelangelo xl version that you'll see in all the shops um and yeah it it, it came from here and it's um it's a it's a 
I'll, I'll be honest, it, it's, it's genius because it's everything I've wanted. It's everything that I wanted from the black box. And you'll notice that the black box has one U above it. And that is because that black box is coming out and the Michelangelo XL is going into there. And it's a 4U unit. Um, I'll put some pictures up um, throughout this video. Um, but yeah, the, the issue I had with the black box and the reason every time I reached for the black box, it was like, I, there's there's always something that I wanted to do with it and it's like I'm limited to what I can do. So with the black box you can select low, flat or uh, high. You can't have independent control of the low, the mid, the high. Whereas on the Michelangelo XL you've got independent control of the amount of saturation you've got on the lows, mid, high and airband. Airband's a lovely uh, feature it has. Um, so that gave me that ability to, to saturate four different bands, um, whereas the black box, it doesn't. Um, then also as well is the limitation of the black box is, you know, I want to I want to push it. I want to go further. I want to push harder. But then I've got to compensate for that. And what ends up happening is you you push harder and then you kind of go, I can't go that hard and you have to dial back. Whereas on the Michelangelo XL, you're able to push it hard go as hard as you want and then compensate for it. And the best thing about the compensation is because it's in parallel and it's two of the same boxes, basically, a Michelangelo um, a tube version and a Michelangelo MOSFET version, um, they, they, they occupy basically the same or similar range. So you're, you're not trying to find with another EQ where that is and trying to notch it out, you're actually going very easily like that. And here's here's a really good thing, um, and this was this was a feature that I didn't I didn't request, but happily was put in. Was the trim knob acts as like a mix and blend. So what you can do is turn the trim down on the Michelangelo MOSFET. Now what you have if you turn the trim up is all you're using is the Michelangelo as like a standard Michelangelo. So you have a Michelangelo EQ, and then you can you can obviously bleed in as much of the uh, the MOSFET as you want. So you can kind of go, oh, I don't want as much tube. I want more MOSFET, and you can blend the two together. There's so many possibilities with it. As well is it wasn't part of the concept of why I wanted it, but you can. So basically, I wanted to go saturate, volume goes up and then bring it down with the EQ. But what also is possible is <clears throat> adding, um, adding MOSFET and then also adding tube. So you're getting the getting the both and then you've got switchable frequency ranges. So you can switch um, the low, for instance, goes 80 Hertz or 150. You can, you can have one set at 80, one set at um, 150 and you, you get these these really crazy, really nice um, kind of curves. And you're creating all these different curves. And we had it up on a spectrum analyzer when we were doing the demo of it. And it was just like, whoa. And it reminded me of, um, you know when you see them kind of visual demos of um, like Pro-Q3, for instance. Um, and you see all these crazy curves that you're never going to actually apply. And it's like all these different curves that are applied to it. And it's all for the purpose of a, of a photo that's used as a, um, you know, as, as uh, for marketing. And it's never something that you'll actually do. You'll usually just do a simple curve. Um, but it wants to show off full capabilities of it. Um, and that was the kind of curves that we were creating. There was all sorts of, you could, you could be, crazy with it if you wanted to um drums it sounded unbelievable kick drums were amazing for it because the great thing about the kick drum is you were adding all this weight into the kick drum and instead of the kick drum just being like we're adding all this saturation and weight to the kick drum instead of the kick drum now being really loud what we were doing was adding all this weight to the kick drum and then just dialing back and it's still in the mix where it wants to be but it's fat as anything and it's 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 a really interesting concept um, and I'm really surprised no one's done it. I'm sure people have thought of it, but yeah, it's never been done. And uh, yeah, we 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 um, 
we are we're really really pleased to have uh, kind of uh, launched this onto the industry and um yeah hendy amps they're going to be releasing it don't know when but um yeah our one should be here in about three weeks we're just waiting for the uh custom face plates because what we're going to have on ours is uh where it says uh, Michelangelo XL we just put our signatures so we've mine and Nick's ones are signature versions we've got the original prototypes um and yeah it's uh it's special it really is um so yeah I mean keep your eyes peeled for this one they're gonna they're gonna retail at about about seven thousand dollars which um you know it's a lot but bear in mind it's two Two Michelangelo EQs and Michelangelo EQs are, are roughly around three thousand three hundred. 